Welcome back to the Try Truth. I'm Mike. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, I got a hold of a box of highly collectible wrestling cards. These haven't been out very long. They're by, I think, Panini. Um, anyway, uh, in every box you have a chance to find what they call uh, blaster exclusives, green pulsar prisms, uh, and like I said, they're highly collectible, getting harder and harder to find. Uh, you might even end up uh, having to look on eBay to get them because they're flying off the shelves right now. I was lucky enough to get a hold of this box. A friend of mine was uh, nice enough to give it to me. He had a couple extras. So let's just find out what's in here. Um, and I'm kind of excited, you know, um, and I'm not sure if they're like WWF, WWE, SmackDown, Raw, I don't know. So we'll find out together. So let's see what we got. Okay, so here we go. This is the box. This is what it looks like. You can see it's still in cellophane, never been opened. Um, anyway, a buddy of mine's really into this and... Uh, he kind of sponsored today's video by giving me this box of cards to open up and share with you. Um, so, you know, I don't know if any of you or all of you are into this sort of thing. So, anyway, here we go. Um, like I said, this is the first one I've ever seen. First box I've ever had, you know. So, okay, so. Yeah, they're definitely sealed shut. Very hard to get open. Okay, unless you're eight years old, you probably tear right into them. Okay, so yeah. See some kind of authentic, authenticity uh, holographic symbol there. Um, anyway, so yeah, let's check them out. So inside, what do we got? Who do you collect? Okay. And inside we have the four boxes of cards. And there they are. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm sorry. Six boxes of cards. Four in each. Let's do a little shuffle on these. Hopefully we can come up with something really cool. Doesn't really need to shuffle them. I'm going to open them all anyway. So, all right. And, uh, they're not easy to open. These, they have them sealed, hopefully for a good reason. So, here we go. All right. First, Stevie Turner. Who is that? I have never... I'm, I'm, I don't watch wrestling regularly, you know, but, uh, you know, like I said... I do like to collect things, so anyway, little story on the back there, okay. Heavy cards, really thick, okay. Here we have Chad Cable, I don't even know who that is either, I, I don't follow wrestling. Uh, here we have Trish Stratus, not sure who that is. And then, oh, wow, one of those green, what do they call them? Green Pulsar Prism, okay. Amali. Or a male. I think it's a Molly. So anyway, first four down. And uh, let's see what's next. No bubble gum. All right. Okay. Okay. Mark Blade. Malik, Malik, Malik Blade. Okay. All right. Very nice cards. I mean, wow, look at here. Dusty Rhodes. Now, I know that guy. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Nice. Here we have Jinder Mahal. I don't even know who that is. I, Like I said, I've been out of the wrestling game for quite a while. Um, Edge. Fearless, so I'm not sure um, who this is either. Well, it says Raw there. I wonder if the Dusty Rhodes has what he was with. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, Austin, Texas. It tells a little story about each guy on the back there. You know, I'm not the greatest reviewer of these cards, and I'll tell you why, guys. I Like I said, I, I used to watch WWF back in the Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, Big John Stud days. It's been forever since I've followed it, so I really don't know what's going on anymore. But uh, Valkyrie, okay, got that one. Um, wild boar, so, Batista, I've heard of him, I think he's a TV star, if I'm not mistaken, and here we have a prismatic John Cena card, you know, that, that might be worth something, I don't know, but, uh, I could see why somebody would want to collect that. I mean, it's kind of cool looking, you know. Really cool looking, man. So, all right. Moving on. Okay. Okay. So, next we have Angel. And then we have Dante Chen and L.A. Knight and Fearless, The Miz. Okay. All right. And we're moving on. Let's see. I don't know. I like the Dusty Rhodes one and the John Cena so far. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm a little bit old school compared to most of you guys. Um, Fabian Aichner, I don't know how to say that. Um, here we have Charlotte Flair. I wonder if she's related to Rick. Okay. Dominic Mysterio. And here we have uh, Sasha Banks. Yeah. I think there's more women in wrestling now than there ever was. So, yeah. But, you know, I don't recognize any of them. So. Okay, here we go, guys. Last pack. All right. Ginny. I'm not sure who that is either. Um... Man, these cards are thick. They almost feel like two cards in one. Uh, Bron Breaker. All right. And here we have Ridge Holland. And um, the last card, guys. Here it is. Next level, Edge. That's a nice looking card. I don't really know who this guy is. Yeah, he looks like he's won some stuff, though. Anyway, uh, back to, let's see, these here, we ended up with, it looks like two or three of them. I like the John Cena one. Let's see what the John Cena car says on the back. Let's focus. It says, all right, let me get it focused for you guys. All right. Okay, I want to make sure you can read it. Okay. Never give up, earn it. These words of positivity are incorporated into John Cena's iconic and memorable ring entrance, um, exemplifying timeless values like hustle, loyalty, and respect. Cena's already tremendous bond with the WWE universe continues to grow stronger and stronger at the as the years go by. Okay. All right. Anyway, it's... A nice card. I like I said, I don't know if there, there's any value here. I'm not sure. So you could look online and check them out. Um, let's see. Anything else that stands out to me? It seems as if there were a couple of this guy here. Okay. So there's the same guy. So here you have this chrome looking card. It says Prism on it. And then you got this really nice holographic looking one. Um, anyway, a few things about their career and, you know, 
personality, things like that. Let's see what it says about Dusty Rhodes. He is definitely retired. One of the most charismatic sports entertainers of all time, the American dream, Dusty Rhodes, connected with the common man like few before or since. The WWE Hall of Famer was legendary on the microphone and the ring, where he was a three-time NWA champion and also held the United States Championship. You know, I didn't even know that. Um, okay. Like I said, a lot of these, I don't even know who these are because I've been away so long. I've heard of them, you know, but uh, anyway... Anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. Um, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. Got a giveaway coming up pretty soon. I got a decent response on the um, silver 3mm uh, 8-sided box chain from Luke Zion. Um, I'm, I'm going to figure out how we'll go about giving that chain away to a lucky winner. So, all right, we'll see you next time.